If you're a level four or five gymnast working on a front handspring and trying to make it better, then I have some tips and tricks from you from a former elite All-American gymnast, current coach, and judge. Okay, so we're going to jump into a front handspring that was sent to me by this girl. She has a very nice front handspring and I wanted to show hers to exemplify exactly what that technique is that I want to point out. Okay, now remember, there's a few things that we need to discuss when talking about the front handspring. There's like three major deductions that come from a front handspring. There's the angle of repulsion, there's the hand support, and then there's dynamics. With angle of repulsion, picture 90 degrees, we wanna hit our hands on the table right here and block into a handstand. Anything past this handstand down to this angle can be up to a one point deduction. Then there's the hand support. If your hands are on that table for too long, we can take up to five tenths on that hand support deduction. Then there's dynamics. Dynamics, we can take up to three tenths in deduction. Now dynamics gets a little interesting because there's some things that happen from the lack of dynamics that I wanna get into. When you have good dynamics, you have a powerful vault. Dynamics is dynamo, dynamo is explosive. You need to have an explosive vault. Now, if you don't have dynamics, you're not going to have the height or length of the vault that also gets deducted. So not only is dynamics lacking where you can get up to a three tenth deduction, but then you can also get a five tenth deduction on height and a three tenth deduction on length. Obviously, those are the three main things that you're probably going to get deducted on heavily. So if you're scoring low in the level four or five vault, this might be why. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first thing to start off is a very dynamic and quick run, which she does. Now I'm slowing and making it fast. So her run is very powerful. Now as we get into the front handspring, notice where her feet are. She has her feet right here, punching. It, they are slightly in front of her chest, which is good. From here, she's able to go up pretty high. And as she's flying to the vault, she's driving those heels up where she is now landing in that angle position that I talked about in the graph where her hands are hitting the table before the handstand. Now she has a little bit of flex feet and a little head out, but it's not that obvious in fast motion, but I will show you it in regular motion soon. So after she hits her hands, she has a tight block and that's where her hands leave the table and where her feet are now. She is a little bit past handstand, so this could result in that angle deduction, but it would be very minimal because she does such a great job that it does kind of look like she takes off in handstand when you play it in regular motion, but this is very good. She hits it right before handstand, like I said, boom, pops off. And look at how stretched out her body is. You want that long and stretched body position. Now she's going up pretty high. Look where her chest is compared to the vault in her height. So I know height is there and I know length is there because we don't just take length from where your feet landed to where the vault is. We take length from where her hands were all the way to where her feet were. So that's probably a good four to five feet of her landing from where her hands were. So hopefully that makes sense. Now let's watch it in regular motion. So she begins her run. She has a very good speedy run. Feet come in front, nice tight block, very good. What I would score this routine, and I can score it because it wasn't judged, I would probably give this vault a 9-4. She does, again, go a little bit past vertical, as you see right here. Her hands do kind of pause for a second on the table. You see how she kind of patty cakes it, and then she pops off. To not have that hand support deduction, I need an immediate pop off. Hers were on there for like a patty cake second, as I call it. Um, so there was some pressure and it wasn't quite the explosive that we need for that zero tenth and support deduction, but it was still a very nice vault. Like I said, I would probably go nine four or nine five on this vault. And dynamics, I don't think I would take much. Wouldn't take any on height and length, maybe half a tenth on dynamics just because we are missing that little pop off right there. But other than that, that entry, very nice. Right there is where she should have exploded immediately. So it could have taken her up to handstand a little bit sooner so she didn't get that angle of repulsion deduction. And then obviously the step would be a deduction as well. So there you have it. There are the key things that you should be focusing on in a front handspring, at least from what we are focusing on for the most part from judges is we are focusing on that angle repulsion. We're focusing on the block. We're focusing on the dynamics and then we're focusing on all the, focusing on all the little stuff that come underneath that. Knees, toes, feet apart, elbows, shoulder, anger, head, 
your landing, things like that. So if you guys can get angle of repulsion under control, your block under control, and that dynamics under control, I bet you're going to see an improvement in your ball. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. Follow me on my social medias. Send me your judging, critique, routines, and what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on my channel. I really need your guys' support to continue this channel, so please share it, follow it, subscribe, like it, do all of the things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.